Hello, welcome to another episode on Evolve, where faith meets rhythm and life finds its full expression. I'm your host, Olufumi Layo Oloyede. In today's episode, we're going to discuss on practical steps for personal growth. We're going to explore strategies for personal development. We'll discuss on self-awareness and how it is important that we need to grow personally. Yes. And I have here like eight practical steps that had at one point in time helped me in my journey of personal development. Number one, mindfulness practice mindfulness practice we need to set aside some time to practice mindfulness meditation focusing on your breath and your bodily sensations you know you sit in a place and take a deep breath and shut off whatever distractions that is happening around you and what this does is that it enhances your ability to observe your thoughts, to be able to paint any thought that is negative, that is not serving you well. Number two, journaling. Ah, I love this because it's a powerful tool for self-reflection. Yes, you, you, you don't feel good, you journal it. You journal your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences. It helps you to reflect on your successes, helps you to reflect on your challenges and areas that you need to work on. You know, this helped me a lot because I love to write. You know, sometimes when I pick my pen and, and book and I am jotting, I'm writing out everything that I need to write out. And I remember several years ago, one of my friends, we were discussing about how people hurt you, how they get along with it, and they feel that they are still doing you a favor. <laughs> and while we were discussing in the course of that meeting, and he said, do you know what? I need you to get a book. Write out the occurrence. Do not try to hide anything. Lay it bare on paper. And you know, we did that exercise together several years back. And at the end of the day, by the time we're done writing, I said, I think I feel better. So that's what journaling does. Then seek feedbacks from people. I do that a lot. When we, like what we're doing right now, I ask questions. Yink, are you sure I did well? Are you sure I was not frowning? Are you sure I smiled enough? Those are the feedbacks that will help you in your journey of life. And who are the people that you need to ask feedbacks from? Your friends, your colleagues, your crew member, your family, your loved ones. And be open to constructive criticism. You know, when someone corrects you and says, ah, don't you think you should do it this way? Don't you think you should do it this way? The reason why that person is telling you is so that you can be the best version of yourself. So reflect on past experiences. Like this one, you know, I, I reflect on them so that I can shape my beliefs. What were those things I had believed over the years that didn't serve me? I trash it. What were those things that I was introduced to and that has helped me a great while? I work on it. I make sure I work on it. So you need to imbibe that into your daily life so that you can become the best the exciting, the beautiful version of you. Practice self-compassion. Stop being hard on yourself. Life is not hard. Yes, we hear, ah, life is this, life is that. My dear, life is not hard. It is what you project before you that reflects back to you. So stop being hard on yourself. Practice self-compassion compassion. It is good that you tell yourself, girl, you're doing well. Girl, 
You're beautiful. Girl, yes, you can do it. So practice self-compassion. When you notice any flaws or mistakes, acknowledge it. And do not be harsh on yourself. Stop judging yourself. Maybe if I had done it this way, this person would not have responded this way. My dear, love yourself. Be compassion. Be compassionate, rather, <laughs> with yourself. And embrace vulnerability on your journey of self-awareness. Embrace it. Yes, you didn't do something wrong. You didn't do something well, rather. Embrace it. Or maybe I should have responded better with a smile. And you realize that the response you got is not exciting. Embrace your vulnerability. That is why you are frail. That is why you are a human being. So embrace it. Be honest about your thoughts, your feelings, even when it feels so uncomfortable. Embrace it. Practice active listening. You know, I had to learn this because of my temperament. Let's say, for instance, we are on a project and we're discussing, we've, been, we've discussed so many things that we need to get done. And, you know, we've discussed it. We're not, okay, this is a step forward. This is the assignment to embark on. And maybe I program my mind that, okay, this meeting is for two hours. And two hours elapses and we're still discussing. I realized that my mind is off. So I had to practice active listening. Even when it feels as if time is gone or I'm bored. So practice it. Set intentions. Make sure that your intentions are right with everything you do. Do not do things because others are doing it. Do not do things because of what people would say. If you do things right, people would say. If you fail to do it, people would say, because you have no control on what people would say. And I remember one scenario several years back. I then I was very big on interior decorations. And I was part of the few people who does decorations for my church. And I remember this day I wanted to change the drapes, the drapes rather, on the altar. And while I was about to change the drapes, and I had, you know, something just told me, I believe it was the Holy Spirit. He told me, I shouldn't remove it. I should just do another one on those drapes. And the next morning was a Sunday service. So I got back during the meeting, the workers meeting. Then the sex man called and said, he didn't like what I did. Oh, my dear, I was angry. And I told myself, okay. And I remember, okay, thank God. Thank God I didn't remove the initial drapes. So I stuck some chairs together and I began to pull the fabrics off. You know, in the bid of doing it, the, the thumbnails were now flying all over. I finished doing it and I got that from the stack chairs. And when I saw it, you know, by the time I was done, I noticed there was a corner up that pulled off. Then one of the guys there called me and said, Sister Fumi, it's pulled off. I said, yes. I saw it that it pulled off, but I didn't have a release to climb that chair again to go and fix it. And the guy looked at me and said, yes, I'm sorry. And he got up and he went to fix it. Fine, he may not like, like my response, <laughs> but my dear, <laughs> I was being real to myself. So please, let your intentions be right. Let your intentions be right. Adjust your strategies. Do not do things overboard. Don't do things because others are doing it. Don't do things because of what people would say. Look out for yourself in everything you find yourself doing. Till I come your way, I remain your host. Olufumilayo. Oleyedi. Bye.